afternoon, YTPC. We just survived four or five consecutive thunderstorms here. So I'm back out on the balcony. Made a, my first German video this morning. So I've posted that and hopefully some uh, pipe smokers in Germany, Austria, Switzerland I'll be able to see a bit more who's out there in YTPC from their side. At least a bit better. I had maybe 20 different contacts from colleagues and friends in, uh, in Germany but uh, John Panzer of course in Switzerland. But it's always interesting to know who else is there. Well, for that occasion, I uh, got out my Peter Lehmann pipe, which is a, an artisan pipe maker in Germany, very famous one, and uh, made this beautiful, huge pipe, uh, quite a heavy one, but it's an absolutely lovely chunk of briar, beautifully finished on a matte, smooth finish with lovely grain, and then a little bit of rustication here, and this little brass uh, bronze collar with steel and uh, nice nice bowl capacity and those lovely thick walls of course can handle any kind of uh, hotter burning blend with uh, lots of Virginia in it well I also picked a uh, nice German tobacco to uh, smoke and this is a Peter Heinrichs uh, 2016 and it was actually meant as a Christmas type of tobacco and this was uh, uh, on special offer because he just had a few tins of it left and I thought it's about time I opened this one up this is made actually in Cologne Cologne is the uh, or Cologne as we call it in English the party city in Germany they do wonderful uh, carnivals there and very good beer well this is an aromatic and um, as you can imagine uh, a very uh, very pleasant one with um, it's actually the uh, Taste is caramel in the background, and there's uh, ripe oranges is at the front. It's a, a lovely fruity taste to it on top, but a um, bit of vanilla, and in the background this sort of caramelly taste, and it's just all perfectly balanced. So it's Virginia Black Cavendish and Burley. I have some of the 2019 winter time from Peter Heinrich and it's also excellent and what I what I found with both of these if they are examples of his blending skills is that not only does the uh, aroma is is absolutely wonderful the tones and the, um, the beautiful tin note but uh, it's there in the taste as well so it's not one of those Christmas um, tobaccos that disappoints it's coming through in the flavors as you would expect from the aroma lovely well I just thought I'd share with you a little excursion we did um, couple of weeks, three weeks ago I think, on the River Ara, which is um, uh, south of where we are here in the direction of uh, Delimont and then Beale. You, um, you come across uh, 
you're on the way to the capital city of the county I live in, Canton, I live in, Solotun, and the town is called Solotun. And there's a lovely wide river there called the Ara. And um, we went there with some friends, uh, took the boat on a stretch up to the city, and then got out of the city and had, had a little look around. It's a lovely old medieval city, Solotun. It's not the sort of famous city of Switzerland that all the tourists go to, but it's actually just as lovely as some of the others, a little bit smaller, but the old center of town is, is just wonderful. And it's got this lovely bank on this beautiful wide river. So I made a bit of footage and um, just thought I'd share it with you. Not such a long video this time, um, but there's some, some lovely sights. See what you think. Lovely boat trip. And it's a boat trip uh, between the towns of Grenz, Grecken, and Solothurn, not far from where we live. And here we just docked at Altroy, which is the first port. And it's really charming. You know? I mean, it's uh, pretty good weather today. We had a bit of rain for a short time. Look at those ducks there all sunning themselves on that little gravel beach. Here you see this fantastic Jura, um, well they are mountains, they're some of the smaller ones in Switzerland of course, uh, about a thousand meters and a bit more, a bit less. And there's a whole ridge of them all the way down towards uh, Lausanne, Geneva. Well in Jura there's lots of this chalk stone when there was a seabed uh, and sometimes you find sharks teeth and fossils and uh, plenty of places when it was not quite underwater we had um, dinosaur footprints but this is a sculpture that somebody's made out of that chalk which is quite clever one of the bridges in Solotun and there are, you know, in every canton, 22 or so cantons, if you like, some are half cantons, but anyway, they have uh, a central city and most of them have this medieval history. Some are bigger than others and Solotun town or city, because there's a cathedral, which you see over there. So. In English definition, if you have a cathedral, you are a city. I don't know if they define it that way in Switzerland, but it's the capital of this canton, and the canton in which I live. And this is the, the Ara River, which is huge and big at this point. There's a train arriving. If you come to Switzerland, you can get everywhere to everywhere with the train and uh, the post buses and the buses are very well built out so they have an excellent connectivity um, which almost is the best in the world I would say a very good public transport system and here we come into the old town of these beautiful statues For some reason that flag looks very much like the Danish flag, but actually the colours of Solitun are red and white on the Solitun Canton County flag. So that's probably an old form of one when they were still fighting battles. Now Switzerland has quite a history of uh, soldiers in mercenary form, the Swiss Guard for the back, Vatican and uh, they were considered very good fighters with the halibard, which I will show you at some time, and uh, were hired across Europe to participate in many conflicts, sometimes on the right side and sometimes on the wrong one. That's what it happens with if, if you have uh, mercenaries which are just paid for it, but that's all a long time ago. Here's this beautiful clock tower. Look at that, 1411 to 1999, the renovation. 
And some of the uh, figures there on the clock tower, look at the <laughs> that skeleton figure on the right. You see it? And the night on the left, and they probably move when it chimes. 1545, that feature was built in and renovated 1883. Beautiful clock, which uh, I think is, yes, it is right, according to my watch. Uh, somehow there's a third pointer there with the sun and the moon. to work out what those other dials are for. Most fascinating. So beautiful. And then, of course, looking down in this direction, we have the beautiful cathedral, which is magnificent. It's actually a very large one, this time in white stone, marble, and quite spectacular. We shall have a look at that shortly. This street is called Goldgasse, which is Gold Lane. And as I see, there are a lot of jewelers down here and goldsmiths, like this one. And this is typical of these old central parts of these medieval cities that they still today retain some of the professions which named their street. For some reason they've removed everything out of the window here. And I'm sure there must be others which are further down this street. Let's have a look if I can find another one. But at that time, probably a couple of 300 years ago, this is just full of, well, that's interesting. <laughs> By chance, of course, I'm interested in pistols and I knew that there was uh, a shop here in Solitone, not so far away from where I live, which supplies uh, pistols. And here you have it. So that's interesting for me. Of course, they all have websites today and you tend to sort of look in that and order and just go to pick it up. But uh, good to know. You can possess one of these uh, pistols in Switzerland, but they are okay with getting a permit that you may not carry. Um, it's very, very strict. You'd have to more or less be in a security firm um, or maybe a private detective or something to actually legally carry such a pistol. Just entered the church here. This is not even the cathedral. But look like that ceiling. That is quite magnificent all around. Beautiful paintings and carving. So here you see some 1876 graffiti on the church banks. Very naughty of them. A beautiful altar. This almost rivals the cathedral in St. Gallen. Beautiful pulpit and a magnificent organ, a bit smaller but beautifully and I can't believe the level of carving and stucco work by Italian craftsmen made back in the 1600s, 1669 I believe, it took eight years to do it, which is very fast if you consider the complexity of what they did. Well, as you can see, uh, rain has stopped play here at uh, Wembley or uh, 
Lord's Cricket Ground and also in the town of Solitude. Everyone has just taken shelter from these uh, five litre sized raindrops which I tell you can soak you in one, one drop at a time. So uh, our guide is over there taking refuge and um, it's actually quite warm rain and quite refreshing really but uh, we're hoping it's just a squall as it were but these are summer sort of thunderstorm clouds which have been very predictable all day and threatening and they finally clobbered us i'm afraid so this might take a little while back to you hopefully soon soon uh, you will find roman excavations and Roman ruins and Roman walls. I'm hoping it gives me Cairn de Umfassung's mouth, a Romish castell, from a Roman fort from the 4th century. And it was three meters thick, that Roman wall. Very light tower. So it's basically a lamp post and there's an electric bulb now in there. And this one was a reproduction in the, from the 1800s. The original is in a museum. But that's quite a lamp post, isn't it? dramatically uh, baroque as the Jesuitan church which we were in but even so it's very beautiful and look at that lovely dome up there and it's certainly larger if you, you came in the side entrance near the confession Booths, which these two ladies are headed towards. Better not speculate on that. And beautiful pulpit. Beautiful ceiling. Well, it's a beautiful altar. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was certainly a lovely day out. Uh, Beautiful to go on these river boats sometimes and just take a, a, a journey up. You can have a glass of wine on the boats and um, we had a fantastic lunch in the uh, city of Solitern on the riverbank and a beautiful Italian restaurant and just marvellous, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I uh, loved, loved the architecture, of course, the churches, I'm always looking in there. And there are guided tours. We did actually take a little uh, short guided tour with um, a gentleman that explained a lot of the history. And it's very rich in history and um, marvellous city to visit. So if you ever had a chance, give it a try. Right, well I'm just going to finish my pipe, listen to more of Mozart here and enjoy the little bit of good weather we have before the next storm comes along. <laughs> so you take care everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in a few days with the next offering. Take care.